Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're working on our Chevy Cruze. In this video, step-by-step -step process on how to replace your cabin air filter. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, outside of the vehicle now and in the cold weather, as you can see the snow in the area, we're going to hop in the passenger seat and open up the glove box. Inside the car now, and what I recommend prior to starting this job or project, empty out your glove box. It will go a long way come to the right side you see that little piece there that is your actual cable or rope on the back side and that is what allows this to fall or drop at a slow convenient manner well we have to actually remove that and to do so real quick I change camera directions and with one hand pull the actual rope down and with the other hand in here you will be able to position this in a way where you can pull this actual part out. And just be careful because it is plastic, you do not want to break it. See how it just comes out like that? And because it is tension loaded, it's actually going to go back up and fall and hang from here. Next, on each side, the right side and the left side, you have these very unique clips. And these clips on the back side are the stopping points of your actual glove box. So once you remove the right clip and left clip, this actual glove box will fall completely out. These are plastic. Be very careful as you remove them. I grabbed this little hook tool that I purchased at our local AutoZone years ago. I'll carefully insert it here. And as you can see, it just pops out right here. And I will use both hands to pull it out. And the reason why I need both hands is because right now there is pressure on this tab on the back side in here. You will need to raise your actual glove box to release that pressure to allow to pull that pin right out or that clip out. All right, YouTubers, again, I apologize. I needed both hands. What I wanna show you is the actual part or clip here. You see that little notch or slit in it? This is a rubber gasket type. And the way this goes in is this little slit here actually goes inside and locks itself on this portion of the plastic. Again, this portion of plastic right here will go in between these two pieces of plastic on the actual clip. So put the actual clip in, slide it back into place. So I share that with you now because as you remove this, you want to pull it forward. At this point, both clips are removed, and again, from here, your glove box basically just falls right out. Just like that. Go ahead and set that aside. And from here, right down in there, this little cap here, you will have to remove or lower it. See this little tab here? Just by shifting it outward, you'll be able to release this portion of the cap here. Notice how I pulled it out just a little bit. On the complete opposite direction, push, and you'll be able to pull that tab out. And then up here is one additional clip. Just go ahead and carefully pull that. And I might need to actually use my little tool here, but be very careful because you do not want to break it. Once you get that loose, it actually just lowers down just like that. And as you can see, very, very dirty. Before removing this, very important. See that little arrow? It's facing down near your feet. You want to make sure that you insert the new filter the same way. So let's go ahead and pull this out. I might actually use that little pick tool as well. Coming in handy. Several portions of this project. And just shift that little tab down. It's very, very dirty. As you can see here, outside of the vehicle now. And yeah, this has probably never been changed and chances are you've got an oil smell inside your vehicle because when this gunks up like this, this can only grab so much odor from your engine to a point where it can no longer catch anymore and once you turn your heater on, guess what? You're getting all the burning oil odors or smells, which is not good. Let's set this aside, go grab the new one. All right, YouTubers, here is the actual part number, STP, cabin air filter, and by chance, can you tell which one is the old one and which one is the new one? Hopefully you can, and as you can see, old, nasty, new. A couple things I want to point out, the actual 
design of this. Notice how it has the Aero GM on one side, the back side is completely bare. This portion is the part that is closest to the engine. The portion that has lettering and the arrow is closest to the inside seat or passenger seat. And again, you want to insert this properly. The arrow's facing down. Let's head back to the car. All right, YouTubers, back at the car. Do yourself a favor prior to inserting and securing that new air filter. Vacuum all this. Clean all of that out of there. Backing out pretty good and go ahead and grab your new filter and remember what we said the arrows must be facing down I know it looks weird because the lettering and words are upside down at this point however arrows facing down toward where your feet would go carefully insert the filter into its slot slide it back into place and go ahead and raise the cover, clips there, and clips into place here, and clips into place here, just like that. One last thing prior to actually going and grabbing the glove box, this is that tension rope here. And when you insert the glove box and secure those clips, make sure you do not trap this actual rope inside here. That would not be good. On the bottom portion of the glove box, you will notice these circular cutouts here. One on the right side, one on the left side. Those actually go inside the inserts here and those circular cutouts will loop around here and that is how it rotates. So line those properly. Inside there. And you will need to apply some pressure to insert those circular cutouts onto the part. Check the convenience of your glove box. From here we will go grab those clips. Alright, this is a two-hand step. Insert this portion. You will need to raise your actual glove box to a point where you can insert and this little cutout again, this portion of the glove box goes right in between those two. Rubber portion in first. Push it back into place. And secure it just like that. From here, we'll do the right side. All right, at this point, both of our internal clips are in, and what I gotta do now is carefully grab that tension rope. And again, we did not want to lose it or trap it during the install of those clips. And focus on this little hole right here. As you can see, all I'm going to do is insert it in, grab it, and continue pulling it in. Put that copper portion of the tension and in on both sides and the internal portion looks like this and locks itself into place. From here, test your glove box. Open and close it a couple times. Make sure it is properly installed and aligned. At this point we got all our stuff in the glove box. Make sure you're not leaving any tools behind. And that basically completes the DIY project. Hopefully this helps YouTubers do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings. Turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. And that will be awesome.